uploaded everything else that was for this week and the weekend um the weekend posts are supposed to come out too <clears throat> excuse me i've been so dehydrated today which is weird because i drink so much water on a daily basis and i've been drawn to drink a lot of water today so i think that's a sign for someone um just catch up on your fluids or you could be getting sick soon um whoever feels that is for you because i've just been drinking a lot of water before this reading and during this reading and i normally don't drink that much water well i drink a lot of water for me for a daily but this is like extra more than normal normal excuse me so we're gonna do a different setup today um i'm gonna just go as it comes you know just flow with me um Again, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Now, with this reading, we always talk about, like, what brings the two together. We never, on my page so far, we never talk about what are we currently working on or, you know, what's going on separately from this connection. So, that's that's what this reading is for. But we're still going to touch in on... Um, on how we both feel about the relationship. I'm sorry, I just got to keep checking the camera to make sure everything's in, in the picture. Um, but the first one, the particular first one, is about how you feel about the relationship. Remember, this divine feminine, this divine masculine, and then we're going to do an outcome in the middle, outcome card. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, just go with me. And... So, so far, the Divine Feminine feels this is a soulmate connection. And spirits are saying, yes, it is. Um, remember, whichever side you take on, you go with that side. You stick with that side. Um, you don't have to necessarily be a Divine Feminine. If you're a Divine Masculine, you could take on traits of a Divine Feminine. And that, that spread will be for you. And vice versa for the Divine Masculine. As far as female wise as well. So that's how um, the, divine the, the divine feminine feels about the relationship. And for her barrier. It's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's how she feels. And I feel with that card, it feels as though maybe she feel because I feel a, a disconnection right here. I feel like maybe there's no communication. And with her, or with the divine feminine, I'm sorry, not her. I don't want to put him or her on it. Um, with that connection, I feel as though because there's no communication, that the DF feels as if it's not going to come together because there is no communication or that person has moved on, which I feel as though this is not true, but that's just, you know, something that everyone goes back and forth with trying to figure out, you know, someone else emotions, someone else thoughts without actually asking them. So, I feel as though the DF right now, you're in your head about this situation. Okay, another barrier for the DF is um, finances and career. Maybe some um, summer right now what I feel some are struggling with finances. But everything is everything is gonna come together. You're you may feel like you're drowning a little bit. Not really necessarily drowning. You're you're afloat, but you don't feel as though you're afloat enough to bring any situation together. 
if it's with you and your divine masculine or just in general, you feel you don't have enough. But it's coming in. I, I definitely feel that very strongly that it's coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So we're going to do an outcome card for the divine feminine. attraction that's the outcome card for the divine feminine and with attraction it just means as though you're just attracted to the divine masculine honestly and this is a love relationship you're attracted to this person and by you fully enjoying yourself and having self-love you bring in this love that you're waiting for, that you longed for. So that's how I feel that um, that one now. How the Divine Masculine feels about the relationship. Okay, two cards. So, and the way the cards fell out was separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but the very soon fell on top of separation. And clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel as though with that for the divine masculine, it's right now you're separated from your divine feminine. And you're trying to make ways to get this ball rolling. You're making plans. I feel as though you're making plans because I feel the divine masculine, they've been separated too long and they're ready. They're, they're tired of feeling alone. They want their divine feminine. Definitely. They want her or him, whichever, you know, whichever one. Um, I know y'all vibe with me, so y'all understand but um they definitely want this they want this very soon like communicate i feel communication is going to come through but we'll find out with the clarifiers but i feel as though they're ready to communicate to open up so what are the barriers for the divine masculine And it may take a little long because I am shuffling uh, through. So we're just waiting on the message. So I apologize if it gets too long for you guys. Um, I, I feel as though these messages are beautiful. And Divine is really putting it out for who it needs to be out for. And it, if that takes its time, then remember everything is in Divine timing. I'm sorry if I can't rush the video. Barriers for the divine masculine spirit. Oh, too many. Deception. Deception was the first one that fell out. And deception now, some people be like, oh, you see deception and you think bad and negative. No. No, 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 no. In this particular situation, the deception is not a negative connotation. The deception is they're not telling their divine feminine that they really are in love with them. <laughs> they will go over the moon and back for this particular person. And they're not saying that. But it's not, let me say, I'm not saying it's not their fault, no. But what I'm saying is, with this situation, they feel as though because, I feel like the divine Masculine is the runner. And the divine feminine was the chaser. And with them, they feel as though when this situation started to heat up, they ran away because they weren't 
used to somebody actually loving them like that and caring about them as the divine feminine does. And I, I believe with the divine feminine, she was so pushy and overbearing with her love that it pushed him away because I feel as though I'm feeling like very strong that he loves her. But at that time, he didn't know how to reciprocate love. He didn't know how to, I'm not saying he didn't return it because he did in the best way he knew how. But through, through these karmic debts that they both paid, he's understanding how to balance the two. How to balance being a divine masculine with a divine feminine. He's learning how to balance those. And she's learning how to not give so much. And part of her giving has to do with this finance, finances and career. Because I feel as though someone was giving too much of their time and money. I'm getting a definite sense for money over here. And with that, like, basically, you kind of put yourself out. Like, instead of you taking care of you, you were taking care of other people so much that you end up putting yourself out at the end of the day. I'm sorry that I keep bouncing back and forth, but as the messages come, I go with. So please just follow along with me. Um, but back to the Divine Masculine. I feel as though he's going to come forward and tell the Divine Feminine how he really feels. And the deception, his barrier of deception is him not actually speaking his truth to the Divine Feminine. He's working on it, though. That's definitely something that's being worked upon. Yep, because the next card that comes out is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So he's getting the plan together to come to her to let her know how he really feels. That's beautiful. I mean, and if you don't respect somebody who can actually come to you and tell you how they really feel about you... I think that's kind of messed up and that you need to open your heart chakra to receive um, because for someone to lay everything on the line and put it on the table and at the end of the day, trust you with their feelings, their hopes and their dreams. That's something beautiful because not a lot of people can do that. So, okay. So for the outcome, I love this bonus reading you guys today. I don't know about you guys, but I am in love with this bonus reading. And it's hitting some key points for me too, so. It's something I needed to hear. Okay, so the outcome. Okay. He got three. He got three in his little outcome. The first one he got is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So once that communication come in, you guys, this is going to pick up. This is going to go so fast. You're going to be like, well, I was waiting around for it for so long, and and now it's finally here. And and what, what the divine is telling you is this is what you asked for. So come on. Put your skates on. Let's go. Let's get started. You know, let's, let's take off because this is going to take off with fire. I already feel that. Oh, yes, it's taking off a of fire. It's giving me chills, y'all. Um, it says, and for the divine masculine to keep an open mind. He feels as though maybe the divine feminine walked away a little bit. And I don't, I don't think she really actually walked away. Um, with the divine feminine, I feel as though she didn't stop the chase. She just pulled it back a little bit. Because she felt as though she was giving out too much for the chase. And she wasn't receiving what she thought was receptible. So she pulled back a little bit. So that's why they got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. We both got soulmates here. So this is a soulmate reading. It could be a twin flame too. Um, just in general. Relationship in general, you guys. I'm sorry. I knocked the camera in my bed. And the last one is let go of control issues. A lot of situations will unfold naturally. 
So them trying to control it. And I feel as though that goes with the communication, honestly. Because with the communication, it was it was a touch and go communication where they controlled everything through that communication. They had like the upper hand. And I'm not saying it to be in a mean way because that's what they were used to. They were used to having that. They were used to being in control of everything. And the fact that this person came in, yeah, you let them, yeah, divine feminine let them be in control, but not like they were used to. It was, it was an equal battle because now everything is balanced. Everything is getting balanced. It's an equal battle. Definitely an equal battle. And not a battle in a bad way either. All right. So, you guys, clarifying this reading, um, I went to the Rider's Weight deck. I'm sorry. This is the Romance Angels deck, and this is the Rider Weight. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But to bring the two together, the lovers and the Three of Cups. Now, some people say Three of Cups is a third party, and this situation is not, okay? And the reason I say it's not, to me, it feels like celebration. It's not a negative energy here at all. This energy is beautiful. And like I said before, I would love to sit in this energy. And it's the month of love. Like February? Come on, you guys. Yeah. So lovers and celebration. I feel like that's uh, coming together. Definitely coming together. And we got one more that fell for that. New beginnings. I'm, I'm happy over here. I know I'm over here stumping my feet, honestly. So for the barriers, for the um, divine feminine, for finances and career, we got the um, higher fund. And what that means is don't worry about your finances because everything is taken care of by the divine. You continue to do your light work. And everything is definitely taken care of. That's that's just uh, just completely what it is. Completely what it is. So you got to get out your head about it. You get you got to stop putting too much on it because it takes time. Temperance. It takes time. Everything is not gonna come to you overnight. Not at all. I had to learn that. Unrequited love. Let's get some clarifiers for the unrequited love, you guys. Okay. So, we laying our burdens down to get to this new beginning. That's what we doing. Divine Feminine is laying the burdens down, honey. Oh, now, okay, the Ten of Pentacles can go two ways, you guys, two ways. It can go as far as you dealing with family issues and you letting those burdens down, and it can go as this union coming together, which brings you into the Ten of Pentacles, which is home life, stability, everything you want, abundance. Do we got one more clarifier for unrequited love? I feel this union is coming together pretty soon. I think sooner than anyone thinks, honestly. Because this relationship could have been going on. I got two tens, so endings and beginnings could have been going on for 10 months. Or you could have been in this relationship for 10 years. <clears throat> yeah. This, you definitely could have been in this relationship for 10 years. I, I'm getting a 10 pretty, pretty top, you know? Okay. So, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just feeling this reading a lot. Um. So, we didn't get any more for Unrequited Love. This is for Attraction. Yes, mamas. Yes, or papas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, hunty, listen. I hope y'all can see that. Let me see. Yeah, y'all can see that. Um, let's see. I'm going to just push that up like that. I think y'all can see that better like that. Yep. Okay. So, for the attraction, you got the Ten of Cups. Yes, baby. Yes. And then you got Ace of Cups on top of the Nine of Pentacles. Everything is coming together. Everything, as you imagine it and pictured it, it is coming together. You get your family. You get what you want. And it's going to be abundance, overflowed abundance, overflowed love, where it's going to be so much. You're going to know what to do with it, but it's just going to be so much that it's just going to send you into this bliss of just happiness. If you're not energetically feeling happy right now, no, but I, I feel like this is now. This is coming now. So energetically, you're feeling this. Energetically, you know this. Your intuition has been showing you this. Because you're the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Ten and the Nine of Pentacles. You, you, you already feel this. You're already high on your throne. And you're... This is just so beautiful. I'm so sorry, you guys. Because as I talk, I'm getting messages. Um, mm. See my mouth dry again, y'all. Um... Ooh, this energy is so lighthearted. This energy is so beautiful. Coming together. Clearing up your blockages. Y'all been really over here manifesting and working hard. I can tell you that. You've been putting in that work. And it reminds me of that one song. I, I don't know. Uh, I forget the name of it. But it's like, put in work, work. Put them in the dirt, dirt. I don't know why the dirt part came up. But put them in work, work. That's the part I like. Work. You you about to eat. If y'all ever seen the um, show with P. Diddy. Um, it's like a, it's a four show panel. And... He said, you ready to eat? And I feel like this is saying, like, you ready to eat? You ready to eat? I'm going to take this for that one. Because it's three and three. My number lately, y'all, been threes. That is my number because with Bo Beginnings 93, if you break down that, that three, I mean that nine, because the three, you can't break it down anymore. But if you break down the nine, it's three and three. Which is synchronicities of threes. Three, three, three. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to put that out there. Now, you got the um seven of cups. Normally, seven of cups will be illusions. Okay? Seven of cups will be... Sorry, you guys. Seven of Cups, Cups will be illusions, but I feel as though in this situation, it's not an illusion. It's coming to you. Your abundance is coming to you, which brings you and drop you down to the Ace of Cups, which is <laughs> heck of beautiful. I hope y'all can see that divine masculine side. I'm going to switch y'all back just an inch. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all couldn't see that. Um... Let's see. Sorry if y'all hear you hear other people yelling, just talking in the background. Now, heart to heart conversations comes in with the Knight of Wands movement action. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Well, I got four. I'm gonna take it. 
um, with the Knight of Cups, offering the love, bringing it together, which brings the will of fish, the will of fortune. Oh, what's that? Will of fishing, will of fortune, what brings in new beginnings. Because somebody been in their head about this situation and how to go about bringing it forward. This is what they want. This is for them. Cards dropping out for the divine masculine, you guys. Okay, now. So, with the uh, deception, they got the tower. Tower coming down, giving them what they need. Giving them that energy, that that spunk, that that ability to let down the guard, which brings you directly into union, four of wands, stability, celebration, everything and then some. Because they fighting for this. They out here fighting for it. To bring that slow is not in the deck. The four pentacles. <laughs> but they fighting for it to bring their love to you. 